any sense. Please. It looks so pretty. Everybody wants Lolita. Hi everyone, this is Faye and today I want to do a little unboxing video. So I'm not wearing any makeup because it is obviously a makeup unboxing and I wanted to use these products but I want to do the unboxing so no makeup so makeup can be used later. Does that make any sense? So I know my skin doesn't look the best at the moment but that's just what happens because being a woman means you have hormonal fluctuations and no matter how healthy you eat, these happen sometimes. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be understanding. <laughs> Please. So I actually bought this on Boxing Day and right now it is February. So I've been holding on to this for such a long time because I was moving in January and life was a mess and everything was complicated so I've just been like dying to use these products but at the same time I really wanted to make this video so I'm just very excited that I'm finally doing it <laughs> I hope you really enjoy it as much as I do so they were having a little promotion of course it was boxing day so things were on sale but also you could depending on how much you were spending you could you would also get a little makeup bag I guess and it came with like free samples and stuff so I'm gonna be showing you all of that um, and I, I think I only bought like four products or three products for real that I actually bought and everything else was just like for free the Sephora just gave me which is great these are all vegan and cruelty free to the best of my knowledge some of the samples aren't because they, they just came with it um, so I couldn't really pick them out, but I'm just not gonna use them. I'll probably just give it to a friend or something. Uh, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that I'm the most excited about is this Naked palette. It came with a bunch of packaging and it was all like very nicely wrapped. So this was my first contouring palette that I've ever bought and I'm very excited to use it and I really hope it's a really <laughs> good one because I'm just used to buying drugstore makeup, so anything, even on sale, these things are expensive, to my point of view. Um, but I'm very excited. This is Urban Decay, uh, and it's their flushed, naked, flushed bat palette. I don't know in what order those words should be, but this is what it is. And it comes with a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. And I'll just show you how it looks like, if I can ever open it. There we go. Okay, very excited. It's very cute. I don't have any of the naked palettes and that makes me sad. I feel like an outsider. Are you really a beauty person if you don't have a naked palette? I don't know. So it comes with a little mirror and it has a little like plasticky thing that I will have lots of fun removing. Um, okay, let's just do that right now. Yay! That is the best part. So it looks like this. These are the colors that we have. Um, so the bronzer, the highlighter. I'm really excited for the highlighter because again, I just use drugstore products so I don't really have the best highlighters. So I'm very excited to be using this. So this is what that looks like. I don't really know if you can tell. I don't know, I think. Oh, oh, so much highlight. Yeah. Of course, this is like on top of nothing, um, but it's great. I think I like this. Yes, I'm so excited. All right, can't wait to use this. The other little thing that I bought that I really needed was a good concealer. Because the only one that I found that I actually liked was by Physicians Formula. But it only comes in this two like duo thing. So it's a green one and a light one, which is like just skin color, I guess. You have to buy that that's the only shade that actually matches me. Cause they have, I think it's a it's a pen 
concealer that they have but it's very very light coverage and it doesn't really work very well and it doesn't work but the one that comes in a duo works but i don't want to have to keep buying a duo because it's so tiny so there's so little product and that's just dumb so i found this one was on sale so i might as well so it's a tarte product i have a little lippy thing and a blush that Sephora gave me it was like one of their birthday gifts that you could pick and those that was the vegan option they had so I was very excited for it and I really love that duo um, so I'm very excited to use more Tarte products also because they have a really nice vegan selection this is their Rainforest of the Sea collection uh, it says Aqua Sealer Concealer and it looks so pretty and the little handle is also pretty. I don't even know if that's a handle, but it's really pretty. It's like this purple gradient to gold and it's beautiful. And I'm so excited to have a concealer that actually works. Yes. Okay. So I'm actually going to try and put this on right now. My skin is just moisturized. I have a little mirror that I put somewhere. So I'm going to try and do that. Uh, it smells kind of funny though. Uh, should I have shaken it? Okay, I'll shake it. Kind of like I already started using it, but I'll shake it. Uh, let's see. Oh, nice. Concealer and highlighter all on top of each other. That's great. And I have a little beauty blender. Um, let's see how that goes. How does that look? I think it's good. I think it's really good coverage. Let me try like a red spot like this. Let's see how that goes. I'll shake it this time. All right. I just went all out. <laughs> I already feel so much better about the way I look. <laughs> I'm very happy with uh, the results. I think it looks really good. I think it really, really works. Um, and this is the Rainforest. Uh, I read somewhere that the Rainforest one was supposed to be for like drier skin and the clay foundation was for like more oily skin. And mine is kind of in the middle and it's been kind of dry for a bit. Um, I guess winter. So I think this is like really, really good for my skin and I'm very excited. What do you think? Do you think this is good? I feel like, I honestly feel like it looks so much better right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because I'm really excited about this product, but I think this is really good. I'm so excited. All right, so let me see, I think this this is the last product I bought. I think everything else here was free. <laughs> Which is, of course, a lipic, lipic, a liquid lipstick, um, Everlasting by Kat Von D. And I love Kat Von D. She's amazing. And it's so great that she's also a vegan. Um, so I feel like I can really trust her products. And it's obviously Lolita, which is the color that everybody wants. Everybody wants Lolita and it's just great. I actually cheated and I used it once because I had a photo shoot and I was like, that color would be so beautiful with this makeup and so I used it. <laughs> so I'm not actually gonna put it on right now. I do have like pictures obviously with uh, of myself wearing it. So I'll just put that picture here somewhere. This is a little swatch. It's a really pretty color. It looks really good on me, I think. I feel like this color looks good on anyone, really, honestly. It's just beautiful, and I'm very excited that I finally own it, and because it was on sale, so it was great. Again, I buy a drugstore makeup, so paying 20 plus dollars for one liquid lipstick is really out there for me. So it was really, really good that it was on sale. I'm very excited about it. All right, so now for the goodies that we got. Obviously, a makeup bag uh, that was free. I don't think it looks amazing, honestly. 
It would look better if it didn't have these ribbons. I don't know what these ribbons represent. Does this mean anything to you? Can you please let me know? Or are they just ugly? <laughs> to me, they're just ugly. <laughs> so it came with this little 100% pure argan oil. And it says cruelty free and vegan and the packaging. So that's amazing. I mean, if it weren't vegan, it would be very weird because it's argan oil. So how are you gonna make that not vegan? But it's great that it's also cruelty free. So it's not tested on animals and it just comes like this. And you can use that either on your skin or on your hair. And that's gonna be great. So it says right here how to use. Use it to moisturize and beautify your face, hair, and nails naturally. Use it as a hydrating face moisturizer or treat split ends, condition cuticles, soft and rough feet and toes. Oh, so you can just use it anywhere. I mean, it's just oil, it's just like coconut oil. You can just put it anywhere and it's great. But it's actually moisturizes. Coconut oil doesn't really moisturize anything. It lubricates. Those are different things. My mom is a dermatologist. I know. I have some knowledge. This is by Living Proof and it's a perfect hair day. 5 in 1 styling treatment. Treatment. Words are hard. So it is for smoothness, volume, conditioning, strength, and polish. And it just says to apply to damp, damp hair and blow dry. Uh, so I guess it's just like a leave in. Mm, I don't really know if this is vegan or what. Sorry if the angle looks different, um, Sage so just got home and then the camera was out of focus so I have to finish recording, I have to re-record the last little five minutes of this video. Sorry! <laughs> so as I was saying, I don't really know if this is vegan, but I will look it up and just like let you know here somewhere. The next one is this little Hourglass Immaculate Liquid to Powder Foundation. Um, it just comes, I don't even know what color this is. That's just what it is. I'm pretty sure Hourglass is at least cruelty free. I'm not sure. I'll look it up. Um, if it is, then I'll try it. Then we have this little Chloe found, uh, foundation. It's perfume. <laughs> um, I feel like most of these high-end perfumes are not vegan because they're all tested on animals and sometimes they use like weird animal stuff like oil vomit or whatever as like a fixing agent or something. I don't know. I read about that when I was like 12, so that might not be very current information, but um, yeah, I don't know. It weirds me out. Um, but I think I look at the little picture here and it reminds me of a friend. I think this is the one she used to use. Um, let's see if I can at least smell it. Oh yeah, it's very it's a very sweet scent. Very, that's nice. Hmm. Then there is this little sugar balm. It says fresh sugar lip caramel hydrating balm, and it's just like this tiny little thing. It's kind of cute. I have no idea if this is vegan or cruelty free. Yeah, it just says it protects your lips. It doesn't say anything about anything. Um, so I have no idea what the ingredients are. But it smells like candy. Kind of like caramel too. It's very yum. Don't let your kids near this. They will eat it. And that's not even going to take any effort because it's so tiny. But yeah, it smells really good. A little lip balm. Never have too many lip balms in the winter. And... Oh. Um, there's this little Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I think it's very cool because it actually comes with three different shades. Um, I'm not sure if this formula itself is vegan, but in Too Faced is cruelty free for sure. Um, so they have vanilla, light beige, and sand, and it says it's available in 18 shades, which is amazing. Yeah, and these ladies are all very pretty. Look at them. So, this is exciting. 
their own medium to full cover foundation. And it's nice because you have three shades, so hopefully one of them matches you. And the last one is this final little Anastasia brown whiz pencil. Skinny brow pencil, brow whiz. Just too many words. Um, and, and I know Anastasia's vegan. Um, at least cruelty free. It says cruelty free right here. But I know lots of vegan YouTubers like Morgan Joyce use it, so I'm pretty confident to use this. And it's just this teeny tiny little <laughs> pencil thing, but honestly, I think this that you're seeing right here is all the product you get from it. So it's a very tiny sample. I think you can do maybe like one eyebrow with this. But it's very cute. Um, I've only heard really good things about Anastasia. So I'm sure this is a really good product and I'm excited to use this. So I think this is the end of my unboxing. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, like this video if you want to see another video of me using this makeup. I'm very excited to finally be able to wear it. These are all, again, high-end products and I'm, I usually just use drugstore makeup. So I'm very excited to have some high-end makeup on my face. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on my next video. Bye!